Hey guys. Hey gals. Cats. Kittens. How's it going? It's been a while. It's me. Your old pal. Uncle Jaja. And I'm here to tell you another story of adventure and and uh, cool stuff and all sorts of things. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the stories. I make them up. I have no idea what's going to happen next. You see, what I do is I find these pictures. And when I, when I show them to you, I just make up the stories using the pictures. And if you're watching the YouTube channel, if you're watching the video, then you can see the pictures too. But if you're not, if you're listening to the podcast, that's okay. Because I'm going to tell you about the pictures and you can use your imagination. That's right. You can use your, your imagination to make pictures in your mind before you fall asleep. And that's what's going to happen because I'm going to tell you a bedtime story. So let's begin. I'm going to tell you the story of a little boy who's sitting, uh, it's in a city, it's in a city, but it's a city that's got a river right down the middle of it. That's pretty interesting. And this, this little boy, maybe it's a little girl, I'm not sure, but they are uh, sitting on the side of the river it's like this street. It might be like a harbor or something, but it's still in the city. Um, but there's a river down the middle of it. So, so the child is sitting, not on the on the dirt, but they're sitting like on uh, on the cement, like on a sidewalk or something. And they are watching the boats go up and the boats go down. And it looks like there's some kind of construction going on in, uh, on the sides of the river. So maybe new, new buildings are being built or something. That's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. All right. So, so what happens next? So what, do, what does this uh, little boy or little girl do? Well, ah, now it's in nighttime. So, so the little boy or the little girl, they went to bed and wanted someone to read them a bedtime story. That's right. So they called out to grandma and grandpa, because I see a grandma and grandpa in this picture. And they said, hey, I want someone to read a bedtime story, but I, I don't have a light. I don't have a light and I can't see in the pictures if there's no light. And then, and then in this house, a duck showed up. Quack, quack. A duck holding a candle. Quack, quack. And so the duck uh, had this candle and said, Hey, yo, I'm going to go up. Don't worry, Gramps and Grand Nana. Nani na na. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna tell the kid a story. Don't, don't worry about that. I got this. I got this. I'm gonna take this candle here and I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna tell a story and I'm gonna uh, talk about the pictures in the picture book and uh, the kid's gonna fall asleep. So don't worry about me. I got this. And that's exactly what the duck did in this house at night, holding a candle, uh, climbed up uh, the steps somehow and uh, read a story to the small child.
and there was a noise. Oh no. And the child said, oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide in my closet. But uh, it was a, a magic closet. And something went wrong with the magic. And the child uh, woke up uh, tied to a, a post in the middle of the sea. Oh no, but don't be scared. I mean, it's the middle of the sea, but it's like tied to a post. Yeah, but they could, you know, obviously the kid could get out if they wanted to. Um, and it's the middle of the day, so it's really hot. Oh no, really hot. Uh, but there, what you don't see is that there was another boat nearby. And that boat, the captain saw the kid and said, hey, did you, uh, did you uh, come through uh, your bedroom closet and you ended up uh, in the middle of the sea? And the boy said, yeah, I did. I did. I I've wound up uh, in the middle of the sea and I'm tied to this post, but don't worry, I could get out. And the captain of the ship said, okay, I'll take you on board. And then the kid was like, okay, great, cool. By the way, did you see my duck? Uh, but the captain said, no, I don't see a duck. And so uh, they went sailing and they went on many adventures. And that is not the end of the story, I guess. It's not the end of the story. Because on this boat, they visited many strange places. Many strange places. For example, for example, uh, they visited a place where they have bullfights. But bullfights, they're they're not very good. You know, they're not really good. You don't you don't want to see people hurt other animals. You know, you don't want them to hurt other animals. Um, so, but in this bullfight game, game actually, um, the bullfighter and the bull actually do a show. So that's what they do. And the bullfighter is uh, doing a handstand on on the bull's horns while the bull does a dance. What do you think about that? That's pretty silly. And I bet I bet the whole audience thought that was great. I think I would watch that. I wouldn't watch a bullfight. Cause I don't, I feel bad about the animals. I don't like that. But I'd watch I'd watch a bullfight if the bullfighter is dancing with a dancing bull and doing handstands on its horns. That'd be very silly, and I would like it. I would watch that. And where else did the captain take the the child? The little, little, little child. The boy or the girl. Well, they they went to a town where um, a people would walk in the streets with beautiful clothes. And not just people, but animal people. And, and we've seen, we've seen lots of stories where there are animal people. There are cat people. There was, remember the goose? There was a goose person. Remember in one story, there was a magic that made everybody into an animal and they all went to a cafe and had hot chocolate. Well, this is a city where everybody wears nice clothes and they are very polite and proper and they are just walking through the street. And in this picture, we see a monkey lady wearing a very nice hat. I think, I think it's a nice hat. A monkey lady, and she is lifting up her skirt so that she doesn't get it dirty while she walks to her next appointment. Maybe she's going to have tea with a giraffe lady. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be great? I wish, I wish I could go have tea with them. I wish I could have tea with them. Hmm. Well, that's going to have to be the end of tonight's story. I know it's kind of short, I know. But actually, 
It's time for you to be asleep, so it does not matter if it's short. It's time for you to be asleep. And if you're not asleep and you want to know where you can read more stories like the crazy things that I showed you, it actually comes from a real book called Dr. Doolittle. And the it's called The Voyages of Dr. Doolittle. So if you want to know, just ask your library if you can borrow a book called The Voyages of Dr. Doolittle. And you can read these books and maybe they will have pictures that you can look at too. So I recommend that. Well, anyway, it is time for me to go and it is time for you to sleep. So this is the end of my story and it's time for me to say good night, good night.